In this video, I'll be doing an unboxing of the new Lasco portable room heater sold by Costco. This one right here is the new one for this year. This one right here is the one that I bought last year. Used it all last winter, did a review on this one. There's nothing wrong with this one at all. It worked absolutely perfect. But I did notice this year they came out with a newer version. Just a little bit smaller. Uh, I'm just going to do an unboxing. We'll check this one out. And I'll be doing a full review and testing later on. So right away, a big difference between this and last year's model is the size. This is noticeably smaller, although the heat output is supposed to be the same. The remote control is identical. they carried that over from last year. It does come with a decent owner's manual. Pretty much tells you exactly how this is supposed to operate. And the screen on the front of here is quite a bit different. The last year's model, the screen was actually on top. So I'm just going to go through all the functions and show you what they do. So you have a power button right here, and just like last year's model, it automatically goes to high three. Now one difference between this year's model and last year's model is this screen is noticeably bigger and easier to read. Now if you want to go to eco mode, which means you set it for a temperature, let's say you want your room uh, 74 degrees. You can hit this plus or minus button. We'll bring it down to 74 degrees, and this is only going to kick on and off whenever needed. So it's going to maintain room temperature plus or minus 2 degrees, and it's going to kick on and off as needed, and the fan will also kick up and down as needed as well. So right now it's telling me room temperature is 67, we have it set on 74, and it will bring the room up to 74 and then shut off. Right here is a timer. So you can have it turn off uh, after 15 minutes of use or whatever your desired time is. If you push this button right here, it's going to automatically go to your high heat setting. This one right here is your oscillate. It's going to turn from left to right. Now last year's model had louvers that went up and down, but this one actually has a circular rotating grill. If we hit that button right there, you'll see that the grill is going to rotate and that's going to distribute the air all around the room. So if you take a look at the remote, it has all of the same settings as what's found on the unit. Now once you shut the unit off, as long as you don't unplug it, it's going to memorize your last settings. Anytime you turn it on, it's going to default to high three. But if you want to go back to that 74 degree temperature, all you do is hit your plus or minus, and it's going to go right back to the temperature setting you had before. So it does remember your temperature settings, but if you want it to oscillate and rotate, you're always going to have to hit the button to turn those on as well. If you want to know how loud this is, this is actually quite a bit quieter than last year's model. So I have it on high three. This is as loud as it's going to get. As you can tell by my decibel meter, just me talking, I'm talking about 68 to 72 decibels. When I stop talking, this will drop down to around 50 decibels. This heater is extremely quiet. Now I've turned on the rotation and the oscillation of the grill. Now those are extremely quiet, they have no sound at all. It makes no difference in the noise. On the back of the unit, there is a filter right here that you can pull out. It has a vacuum off with your vacuum cleaner every couple months. You just want to keep this filter clean because it does have an air intake in the back. This is going to conclude the unboxing video. I'll be doing some testing with this unit in the next couple days. Keep your eyes open for the new videos, and hopefully by the end of the series of videos I make, you'll be able to tell if this is the right portable space heater for you.